G'day in exile here. It's the MX5. It's Laguna Seca. Let's ride on board for the hot lap and we'll share a couple of tips shortly thereafter. On board now as we make our way down to turn one, looking for this three card on the right hand side there. Uh, we want to widen all the entries at Laguna Sega as much possible as much as possible to maximize these apex speeds. Start drifting into the first apex now. Not critical that you hit this one. We really are just trying to get the car rotated and accelerating for the second apex in this first corner set. Um, so we want to get the tires up over here as close to this sausage curb as possible and preferably pointing towards the exit nice and early uh, with wide open throttle. Um, we're going to be ducking straight back across to the left hand side of the road to open up this right hander. Getting the left hand side tires up on this curb to maximize the turn in i'm trying to get turned in just as that last blue um, bit of ripple strip ducks its way under the bonnet we have a second purchase there as we thought we we're going to smash into the sausage curb wide open throttle uh, pretty much just before we get there using all the ripple strip on the exit come back onto the tarmac staying off the sand so we can keep momentum in the car very similar turn in here as well. Uh, it's just going to be a light dabber brake or no brake turning in. So on this occasion we didn't use any brake. We've just gone for the full lift off. Occasionally I do just rub the pedal over the brakes there just to keep the nose down. That may be why we just slid past on this occasion. Using all the ripple strip on the exit as well. Down to the next complex. Pretty much the same theme here, trying to get the braking done after this white line but before the two card, start to creep the car into the nose. The apex is after the sausage on the left hand side so if we can just get our left hand side tyres running right through this part here that would be nice. Um, that will leave you on the ripple strip on the exit. This occasion we just didn't get that much purchase. Uh, therefore not having to use the ripple strip on the exit if you find yourself uh, in a bit of trouble there you can short shift to third that will help the nose come around now looking for the crest um, so we're getting turned in on the crest once again getting the right hand tires up on the ripple strip to maximize the angle of turn in so pretty much after the two car just as the car gets on the crest just a nice lift down trying to get that compression to help turn the car can use the ripple strip on the exit here as well 
uh, nice wide radiuses carrying as much momentum as possible back to the left hand side for the run up the hill and I feel like I'm gonna say it again we're looking for the three cards so we want to straight line this breaking after the white line on the right hand side of the road uh, down into second turning in after the two card saving first gear downshift for the last little bit of rotation uh, you want the car in a straight line with that dirt once we're in a straight line with that dirt on the road you back to wide open throttle short shift to second you should land on top of this curb nicely uh, that short shift to second will stop you frying the tires on the exit of the corkscrew getting back over to the right hand side of the road now once again just maximizing the angle of turning increase the radius of these corners carry as much speed so just trying to balance the throttle here lift off enough to give the front tires purchase you sort of understeer your way down to this apex uh, once you realize you're not going to hit the red cone or run wide it's wide open throttle release the car off the corner keeping a little bit of left hand down in we want to be aiming for the two card now and this one i believe this car is slow enough for either lifts or gentle brakes so gentle 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 just trying to keep a little bit of weight on the front tires so the car starts to turn in very similar technique here use the compression in the road to get the car turned for you start releasing the steering to carry the momentum back to wide open throttle lots and lots of early wide open throttle here at Laguna Seca we're just zigzagging our way across the road back again almost aiming for the two card you can break fairly late here and fairly aggressively in a straight line we want to turn in from as wide as possible getting the right hand side of the car up on the ripple strip uh, plenty of lock as we try and chop this corner in half not always wanting to take that much sausage but on this occasion we take plenty of sausage the car sort of bounces around we end up using all the curb on the exit and wide open throttle pretty much from the apex here again um yeah the old mx5 loves a lot of wide open throttle and a run to the line good luck fellas and i'll see you soon